Hey guys, Mr. P here. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Hope you guys are well. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get Infinite Settler's Reputation, XP, Treasury Notes, and Infinite Scrip. Before we get started, if you guys could just hit that like and subscribe button, it'll really help out the channel. Anyway, let's jump straight into the video. So we're going to head over to the Foundation, guys, as you can see here on the map. And we're going to go and get the a daily quest called Vital Equipment, which is given to you by Ward in his little shack. I'll show you where that is. Also, a shout out to Aggieball. Um, I'll put his channel link in the description. I believe he was one of the first people to find this. Um, but yeah, you just want to come straight up here. You want to go inside this little shack here. In the foundation. You want to speak to this guy, the Ward. Finally, Let his dialogue play out. Sure, Excellent. sounds right up my alley. Fortunately, we've been tracking trends. I can show you roughly where it is. Once you finish talking to Ward to get your daily quest called Vital Equipment, just uh, check in your on your Pip Boy under data just to make sure you've got said quest. So data, you go daily, and there should be Vital Equipment. Uh, just activate it so it appears on the right hand side of your screen just to make things easier. We want to head on over to the Seneca Rocks Visitor Center. Uh, should be just up here by the mountains. Uh, there you go. It's fast travel there. So this is Method 1 really. This is just for people that haven't got Fallout first but still want to do the glitch. Um, it's a bit more tedious. Uh, it takes a little bit longer. Um, the results are the same. So once we spawn in, we want to get our tent out. Um, obviously, this is if you got Fallout first. Otherwise, you'll just have to spawn back here. And you'll spawn back down where that tanker is. Um, just for the purposes of the video, I'm going to just use the tent. Um, just to save a little bit of time. So we want to run all the way down this road. I'll, I'll just ignore the creature on the right-hand side. And once you get, in, uh, get outside this uh, red rocket location just here, on the floor there should be um, a bit of junk. Um, it could be a targeting card, it could be a microscope, it could be a bone saw, something like that. You just want to look for something on the floor and pick it up. Um, I didn't get it this time, so I will quit and go back in. And you want to keep just rinsing and repeating this. Like I said, this uh, method is a bit tedious, um, but it does pay off once you finally do this beginning part. But yeah, you just want to just keep going back down here, go back down the long road again, back to the same spot. Um, if I don't get it this time, I'll probably just skip until I do manage to get it. Just so you don't, guys don't have to sit and watch me do it like 20 times. It can take 20 times, it could take 10 times. You could be lucky, you could get it first time. It's all just about luck, really. RNG and all that. So it hasn't appeared this time, so I will skip ahead. So after about eight server hops, we have finally found the item we've been looking for. Uh, eight times isn't bad going, to be honest. Um, I think it's taken me about 18, 19 times before when I did it. Um, let me know in the comments how long it's taken you guys, how many server hops it took you guys to finally get your piece to appear. Just want to run back down here, ignore these people. Do, 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 do. Outside the red rocket here, if you look on the floor, there's a little bit of junk. So we managed to get the osmosis kit. Um, it could, like I said, it could be anything. It could be a microscope, it could be a bone saw, um, it could be a targeting card, anything really. So you want to take this, um, and you want to put it straight into your stash box. Make sure you don't put it into your scrap box. Just put it straight into your stash box. Uh, this uh, osmosis kit is under misc rather than junk. Uh, most things you find will be under junk. Um, so you want to head straight on over back to the foundation. And obviously if you're Fallout First members you can chuck your survival tent down just behind you. Uh, if not then you can just spawn back here, it's not a problem. 
Uh, there are some stash boxes around the foundation that you can use as well. Um, so yeah, just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use my Fallout stash box. So you want to grab the Osmosis kit. I know I'm probably pronouncing the word wrong, but I'm just saying it how I see it. So as you can see, uh, back up at the foundation, there's a little icon above the ward's head now, the little um, diamond icon. So we can return the said stolen item to ward. I mean, we never actually picked up the real stolen item. We got the glitched version. Now this bit's important. Um, you just want to let the dialogue play out here. You don't want to get too ahead of yourself and skip anything. If you want to talk to ward, let the dialogue play out. Do not skip. Give it a second, click on the first option, make sure you click the first option and just let the dialogue play out again. Do not leave and you will get is your reputation and it will say portable power pack removed which we never had in the first place. Right. Now bear with me, we're going to run back to our stash box down at our tent. Like I said you can use stash boxes that are in the foundation itself. Just for the purposes of this video though I will be using... Um, my fallout first one. So we run back to our tent, open our stash box, not the scrap box, the stash box, chuck our osmosis kit back in there as we still have that item as we gave them a portable power bank instead. Which is under misc for me. Um, most items like I said will be under junk. So we chuck it back in the box and we are going to leave the world. We will server hop now. Once we spawn back in we're going to go back to our survival tent or the stash boxes that are scattered around the foundation. That guy's still standing there. Go in our stash box under miscellaneous for me. It'll be under junk maybe for you. We'll grab our osmosis kit. And we will take it straight back to Mr. Ward over there. I mean he hasn't got the icon above his head and the daily is technically complete. But because we still have the glitched item it's going to let us keep giving it and giving it to him over and over again. So we'll run through here talk to the ward give him the item let the dialogue play out it's very important that you let the dialogue play out guys do not skip anything got our osmosis kit still on us we'll talk to the ward click the first option and we got reputation again we got script we've got caps and you also get um, some other items as well each time you complete this so that like the tedious part is the beginning part finding the equipment to begin with but then once you found that part it's a piece of cake really from here uh, just make sure you go back to the tent or your stash box chuck the osmosis kit or whatever a junk item you find back inside Where are you? There you go. Osmosis kit. Leave the server. We'll serve up again just to show you one more time. You can do this as many times as you want. I'm just going to show you the three times just to show you guys it works properly. Okay, we're back in now. Uh, method 2 is quicker though, less tedious, like you can uh, force the spawn of the item at the beginning rather than like waiting, doing 20 server hops and stuff, you can sort of just get the item straight away. Uh, but that does require Fallout first, but we'll put a video up on that as well. And label it Method 1 and Method 2. So this is Method 1. This is mainly for people that haven't got Fallout first. As you, Befford 2 does require a p private server as well. And obviously you get the survival tent to make it easy on yourself. We'll talk to Ward again. 
don't skip any dialogue, click on the first option. I mean, you probably get a bit tired of hearing his voice after a while when you do it like 30 times, but... So now he's taken a turret circuit board from us. And we got our reputation and rewards again. Just make sure you put your item back in the stash box. Uh, if you've already done this quest, you will have to wait another day. Uh, maybe come back tomorrow, try again. But that will be it for today's video, guys. Like I said, I will be bringing out Method 2 for people that have Fallout first. Um, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, guys, that would really help me out, and I'd really appreciate that. Um, but until then, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a fantastic week.